Lord, that let me know you're thirsty to come down. Your fire is thirsty to come down and consume everything. Because you said our God is as a consuming fire. Hebrews 12, 29. Holy Ghost, you don't come down until somebody's willing to let you have everything. If you'll say, God, here's all of me. If you'll say, God, tonight I give everything. His fire will come. Because his fire only comes to do one thing and that's consume. Consume me, God. Consume me, God consume me God you know all those things that's keeping you awake at night and all those things you're so frustrated of all day long if you'll go where I'm talking about right now you'll be so shocked how that don't even matter no more hallelujah oh Lord hallelujah Exodus 33 21 Moses heard God say Moses there's a place by me and your feet shall stand on a rock. Whoa. There's a place by him tonight. Come here, Brother Billy. Come here with me, Brother Billy. I want to use you for a minute. I want to abuse you. There's a place by him tonight. By means by the side of. This is what walking with Jesus needs to look like again among the modern Christian. God ain't called us to do this. John 15, 13 said, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. But verse 15 said, I no longer call you a servant, but I've called you friends. Because a servant don't know what his master is doing, but I've called you friends because I've received of my Father and shown it unto you. A servant can only follow. But here's how a friend walks. God is saying to us, there's a place by me. And that's where your feet will stand on a rock, a solid ground. And there's no devil. There's no circumstance. There's no struggle. There's no spirit. There's no person that can shake that foundation that's unmovable because it's the kingdom. Ha, whoo, ha, ha, hallelujah. Hebrews 12, 28. Somebody shout, there's a place by him. There's a place. Brother Marvin, that place by him, it's, it's an intimate place. It's an intimate place. not just following him well it's church time well it's Sunday again let me go through the little religious routine no when you got a place by him come Monday morning you can't hardly wait to get in his presence come Tuesday you can't hardly stand yourself until you get in there Wednesday you ain't looking for places uh, apart from where he's at you trying to find where he is you want to be where he's at. It's not a set of rules. You know rules without a relationship produces rebellion. Your kids, you can give them rules, but if you don't have a relationship with them, most time they'll rebel. Now that don't mean every kid that rebels didn't have a relationship. But for the greater percentage, a lot of times that's the case. Hello? Friend, he's not just a God who has a set of rules. He actually rules. <laughs> and when he rules your life, his rules don't seem grievous. What you got to see, God don't offer religion. He don't offer a set of rules without relationship. As a matter of fact, for a matter of faith, there's no way it's possible for you to even keep his rules, his commands without a relationship with him. Because it's him that empowers you.